Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. Today, I'm sharing with you guys everything that I have done to my face. I always feel like I'm interested in these videos, so that's why I figured I would create it for you guys. I do feel like I have to have a disclaimer. I never thought that my face before was bad. I just really love the idea of being able to make it more symmetrical and just really enhance my current features. I'm so lucky that Skin Farm exists. This is gonna be most of my procedures I've had done is fully with them. Um, but the reason I'm saying I'm lucky that they exist is because they are very natural in the way that they approach their procedures. So they always make sure that it looks natural to your face shape. Everyone has a different face, of course, and they want to make sure that the tweaks that they're making are just enhancing your actual, your natural beauty. And it's not just fully transforming your face, um, unless that's something that you want. I don't know if that's something that they do, but for me, I know that they're very, very proud of the fact that they can just en enhance your natural beauty. So I'm gonna share everything that I've had done to my face. I have been working on my face for about like two or three years now with Skin Farm, and I pretty much have given the full reins to my girl, Chelsea, who I go see at Skin Farm Atlanta. She, I just trust her with everything. If she suggests something to like slightly tweak something, I'm just like, please, do it. I know that you know what you're doing. You're very well vetted. You know exactly how to get things done. So I've just kind of like given her full control over my face and I couldn't be happier. So let's jump into it. Before we get started, I did want to introduce today's video sponsor, which is Peak. Peak is a teas and supplements brand designed for radiant skin and health. And they have this package called the Radiant Skin Duo, which is two different products, the Sun Matcha Goddess and the BT Fountain. They are a complimentary skincare powerhouse for brighter radiant skin which is the whole foundation to this duo these two products work together to supplement your natural nutrition and to really help focus on deep hydration for your skin skin elasticity and overall brighter even skin tone we all know nutrition is super important so this is just kind of supplementing what you're eating throughout the day so one of the tips that I would give you which has nothing to really do with this video because it's more this video is more outside skincare I am also fully focused on what I put inside my body I recently actually went vegetarian for a month which was actually not as hard as I thought it was going to be. That's a side note, different story. I am not a vegetarian. I just did it for months to kind of reset my body. And I don't know, I've just noticed my skin actually looks so much better as well. I think what you're putting in your body is also really, really important. And this duo powerhouse, if you will, is another added layer to help support your just natural nutrition to help nourish your skin within. Nourish your skin from within. Wow, I literally can't talk to In addition to just like focusing on what I've been eating lately, I have been fully overhauling my life lately. One of them has been decreasing my caffeine intake. I've actually talked about this with my doctor that I need to do it. I have been switching from multiple cups of coffee a day to one, if even one, um, and then supplementing with matcha. So this sun goddess matcha, I feel like it's doing double duty in the fact that, of course, it's gonna give you that caffeine kind of like pick-me-up that you need, but it's a more relaxed type of pick-me-up versus like a coffee is almost like a little bit more jittery. But this matcha, like I said, is doing double duty because not only is it for the pick-me-up, but it also is nourishing your skin from within, as I mentioned. Who doesn't want a double duty type product where you're getting two for one essentially. This Peak Sun Goddess Matcha is quadruple toxin screen for purity and contains 35% more L-theanine than other matchas, which bottom line for me just means it produces calm and reduces anxiety. I love how this Peak Matcha is packed with antioxidants to firm and brighten skin, but it also contains chlorophyll, which really helps with my skin's clarity. The BT Fountain, on the other hand, is basically anti-aging in this little packet that it comes in. I've basically just been pouring this in my water in the afternoons for a boost of hydration. I can tell a difference in my skin's elasticity and reduction in fine lines. The BT Fountain is also vegan, no added sugar, preserved conservatives or artificial ingredients which fully aligns with my health goals. You guys know that. If you're looking for a similar daily ritual to help support your healthy glowing skin from within, then I will have a code down in the description box below for you guys. And this code will be unique that when you click through it, it'll be 15% off this Radiant Skin Duo in addition to free shipping for life. And they're currently offering a complimentary starter kit, which is essentially a beaker and a frother. So you'll get that when you go through the link as well. So I'll include all that information down below, but feel free to ask me any questions and let's get started on the video. All right, so I put a little some notes down here and just to keep me organized on this video, I feel like I've started to become, I don't know if obsessed is the right word, but I'm just loving my results so much that I have been kind of keeping track of the different things I'm doing and it's starting to become a longer list than I thought it was. 
each of these services do separate things so that's why I kind of have been just trying everything and seeing what the results are so I'm gonna go through each of these and I'll explain to you kind of what it's done to my face and yeah but first before I do that I want to show you guys a before of my face So I'll try and put both of these side by side, but essentially I just want to show you the before and what my after is today. Now, to break this down, I feel like I wanted to start like point one, the first point one. This is how my brain works. I feel like I, I look at it in like bullet points and then sub bullet points. Section one, if you will, are what I call the basics. So I would say skincare basics that have really transformed my skin and are pretty much the bare minimum to achieve any sort of glow, I would say number one, and you can ask anyone this and you probably already know this, but number one is skincare. So I've noticed switching to a higher quality skincare or skincare that comes specifically from a skincare website or a prescription skincare, for example, all tend to get better results than what you can buy at the drugstore. I'm not saying anything about a drugstore skincare. I feel like you can get good products out there. You just have to be really knowledgeable on what to combine with what. And I don't know, I just feel like for me, I want someone to tell me what to do because I can't do all the research myself and I pretty much just trust, like I said, Skin Farm. So for me, I think skin skincare was the most important part. So I have the entire Skin Farm skincare line and that's what I use every single day and every single night. The only additional product that I use outside of Skin Farm, or there's two I guess that I can mention. The first one is, let me go get those because I feel like it'll be easier to talk about them. Okay, I brought some of my favorites that I just wanted to chat about really quick. I'll make this part quick because I know skincare, it's not really the point of this whole video. So as I mentioned, I do use the whole Skin Farm skincare line. I'll put exactly what I use down below morning and night. So you can just read and or purchase through the links down below if you're interested. The two products that I use that are not Skin Farm are if I want a deep moisture, I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever tried the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty, I don't know what it is, but I'm like addicted to this stuff. And I've gotten my husband addicted to this stuff too, but especially in winter months, I feel like this, I feel like this lotion just, I'm just obsessed with it. I really like the way it feels. I feel like it does something. I don't know if it's in my head or not, but this is the only product that I use outside of Skin Farm skincare. I use this at night and then I use the Skin Farm, I'm forgetting the name of, it's like their lighter weight lotion for the daytime. And then the only other product that I use that's considered skincare that's not Skin Farm is this glow screen from Supergoo. I am obsessed with this glow screen. I feel like it gives a really, really, really nice glow, a really, really nice sheen, and it just lays so well under makeup. So that's the only other product that I use outside of them. Regarding my favorite products from their skincare line, like if you were to only get these two items, I would say these two are my favorites. They're crystal clear brightening pads. I swear this has made my skin look so bright, so even. And um, yeah, I just really like these. The other, the other one that I think you really can't live without, if, whenever you try this, if you do try this, you will never be able to live without it again. So just beware with that because it is that good but it's their glow factor. I had noticed that anytime I ran out of glow factor, I swear my skin did not look as glowy because this is like the magic secret to help every single day, no matter what's happening with your skin in that situation. Glow factor, I swear, brings it back to light and just makes it extra, extra glowy. If you're trying to get an even glowy skin tone, I swear skincare is like a game changer. The next sub bullet point in my basics is of course Botox. So I do get Botox in my fine lines. So I get Botox in my forehead as needed. I've gotten some in my smile lines here. And then I recently, I just got this done recently, but I got Botox in my masseters, um, which are like back here. And that's because I clench really hard at night so when i'm sleeping i like clench my jaw apparently if you do that a lot number one it's really bad for your teeth like my dentist has been telling me to get botox back here forever um and i finally did but not only is it really bad for your teeth but i from what i understand i'm not the expert on this i just this is what my girl explained it to me as and i'm probably gonna butcher this but if you bite down too often then these muscles start to like 
build up like an actual muscle and your masters can just kind of get a little bit big back here so trying to prevent that so that we can keep the face kind of how we want it to be the shape that we want it so i would say bare minimum i have noticed a difference with simply botox and skincare the second thing other than the basics that i've noticed a huge difference in my skin like massive difference in my skin is i've been going to get microneedling or a golden fusion facial i used to go three to four times a year and i'm now kind of on a every six week journey with that just because i swear like the second i come out of one of those not the second i'm exaggerating at this point because i'm a little bit passionate about the subject but after getting i've been kind of on the golden fusion bus lately but i also think microneedling is really great as well let's talk about golden fusions golden fusion facial is a little bit similar to microneedling and the fact that you have needles kind of poking into your face it's a different serum that they use that they put on top and they do different things they have the whole description on their website i can probably let me pull this up so i can read it to you on their site it says micro microneedling is the goal is to improve the look and feel of your skin they can work wonders on reducing acne scars lines and wrinkles and the goals are clarifying smoothing and tightening and then on golden fusion it is they essentially use a stamping method to deliver antioxidants and hydrating ingredients beneath the skin and the goal for golden fusion is hydrating brightening and clarifying so i think the difference is this one is more for brightening and hydrating so more of like a plump youthful and then microneedling is if you're trying to correct something in your skin and make it more of like an even smooth tight clarity type look so the last thing that i did regarding like evening my skin tone is i did do a bbl photo facial which essentially is using light therapy or lasers to reduce sunspots redness or even breakouts i do have really bad sunspots and it's mostly on this side which i had learned that when you're driving so like you're driving in your car the sun comes in on this side that's why it's so important to wear sunscreen even on your neck and chest so i need to be better about that but yeah so i had a lot of really dark spots here and she was able to lighten them. There was one really, really dark spot right here that I had to, um, we're gonna go back and I think I'm gonna try it a second time. Let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, so it's starting to get more even, um, but because some of them were like so deep set in that I'm gonna have to go back and get a little bit more done. But yeah, the BBL photo facial essentially is if you have sunspots or any sort of spots that you're trying to remove from your skin to get kind of more of an even glow, if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so on to fillers and all of those other things. The first type of filler that I've gotten, of course, are was lip filler. And my goal for lip filler is just to feel, I want them to feel natural, but I want them to be noticeable, but not like Kylie Jenner noticeable. I just want them to feel like plump and youthful, if that makes sense. So my girl, she just like fills in a little bit at a time because she knows I'm really particular about not looking... I don't know what the word I'm trying to explain. I just really want it to look natural and I want it to feel like me, just a enhanced version of myself. So she goes a little each time as I ask her to fill in my lips, but I feel like we've gotten to a point where I'm really happy with it. Another thing that's really great about lip filler, if you have one side of your face that's not fully symmetrical, lip filler can help just kind of balance it out depending on where you put the filler. That's one of the great things about filler. I've never had to do this before, thank God, because I really have been working with Skin Farm for so long, but you can also dissolve filler from what I understand. And so it's one of those things that if you don't like it, you can just remove it. Okay, so the next type of filler, and I don't even know if you would call this a filler. I'm, you know, I'm not technical, of course. I'm just explaining this from my point of view towards you guys. Um, but there's this service called Sculptra. As you get older, it's natural to start losing some of the fullness in your face, more specifically in the temples right here in the cheek areas. Um, and I had noticed very much recently that I have been losing a lot of fullness in those areas and I was starting to look a little bit skeletal and just not as youthful as I had used to look. I blame it a little bit on postpartum and apparently that's a thing it is you know once you go postpartum a lot changes in your body and I just lost a little bit of volume in this area and so we injected some sculpture in my temples and then also a little bit like right here where it was getting extremely hollow and the great thing about sculpture is it's helping stimulate your own collagen so it's not a filler it's she explained it as like fertilizer where you inject it in and it helps your body produce collagen in the areas that it needs to produce collagen in. So it's your own collagen. It's not a filler. And so it looks more natural and 
lasts a little bit longer. I will say it takes a little bit longer to build up. So we did this in, I want to say we started in October and we, I can't remember the exact timeline, but I've gone back twice to get a little bit injected and it's been, I want to say almost six months and I know that the collagen is still filling in, but it already looks so good and I am so excited. And apparently once you get the collagen built up to where you want it, you only have to go back like every year or so to get it adjusted as needed. But like I said, it's your own collagen. It just looks really, really natural and it helps prevent you just looking like sunken in or like skeletal, if that makes sense. And then last but not least, I literally just got this done last week. It was like less than a week ago, but she injected some filler right here and right here. And it wasn't the exact same amount in both areas. She did it where like this side needed slightly a little bit more than this side. Um, so you, you have to find someone who's able to, who's pretty much an artist. I call Chelsea an artist literally every time. I'm like, you are a true artist. You know exactly how to make my face look symmetrical and like build up one area versus the other just to make them more like even out, if that makes sense. So I got a little bit more filler here than I did here. But essentially, when I would smile and just like sitting, just like resting, I would have really, really deep lines right here. And again, that's just what happens as you age. You just start to lose volume pretty much in all areas of your face. Um, so we've already built this up and then we started to work right here. And we built this up just a little bit this past time. And she, again, put a little bit more here than she did here, just like at the tip of the cheek to like lift it just slightly. So it's all these like tiny, tiny tweaks it's not something that's super invasive. It's just like a tiny tweak here and there just to keep your skin look, or not skin, to keep your facial shape from aging, from the, the sunken in feeling, but also like bringing back a little bit of youth and a little bit, and a little bit of just like shape to those areas that you tend to lose over time. So they call that mid face and pyroform filler. Mid face and pyroform filler. So if you're going to your person who's not skin farm, mention that and they probably know what I'm talking about, but mid face and pyrofoam filler. They reduce smile lines and the sunken areas around your face. But yeah, essentially I have found that my best investment definitely has been skincare. So what I have found over the years, I am 33. I literally have no idea. I'm 33. I, I wanted to say 32, but I'm pretty sure I'm 33. I am 33 years old. And I have found that investing in skincare and just investing in these little tweaks to prevent aging have been amazing for my self-confidence. And it also just makes me, every single morning when I wake up and not have to put on makeup every single day, it's just like such a win and I'm just so happy for it. Anyway, if you guys have any questions on any of this stuff, definitely let me know. I'm just trying to explain it from like my side of things, but if you want a very detailed explanation of how things work or what the actual results or um, benefits are, then Skin Farm is really, really great at answering those questions. And if you want to book with them, I would love if you could mention my name. I don't think I have a code. If I do, I'll ask them. I don't think I have a code for, for them. Um, but I could not recommend them more. I feel so comfortable when I go in there that I'm going to get exactly what I want, but not just exactly what I want. They're very consultative in the fact that they know what's best to get your face looking the best, if that makes sense. So they'll work with what you want, but they do it in a way that's consultative and not just, not just, okay, you want this, great, we'll do that. They'll just say, oh, that will look great, but what if we also did this? Or what if we tweak it just a little bit here? And, and they make it look really, really natural so you don't have to worry about coming away with something so crazy, because it's your face. You don't want to mess something up in your face. That's like the first thing people see. So yeah, I don't know. I hope this video is helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Don't forget about the Peak Radiant Skin Duo. Um, I have been starting to use that now to, like I said, nourish my skin from within. So I'll put that information down below as well and that'll give you 15% off and free shipping plus that complimentary starter kit. So I'll put all that information down below and I don't... I can't think of anything else, so I think that's it. I'm sure I'll see you guys on my next video.